Hi guys, Master Indigo here and welcome to a Payday 3 video. Uh, I already made a few short uh, videos, like a meme video, but there's one dabber asking for me yapping around, so here it is, me talking. Uh, I already tried making this video for a few times. Uh, the first was 40 minutes and I wasn't even halfway through my point. So I tried to make this under under that. So let's start with the FAQ that Overkill has released and then move on to the gameplay bits. Uh, but on the background you should be seeing the gameplay trailer looping around all the time. So if you see something interesting, I'll try to point those out. But obviously, as this is unscripted and so, I always miss something. Maybe I have already said so previously, but here we go. So the release date is 21st of September this year. Uh, we are using Unreal Engine 4 instead of 5, but they are planning on upgrading to Unreal Engine 5 post-launch. That makes sense. They never actually before said what engine you, uh, version they were using. So I actually kinda kinda knew this would happen. Unreal Engine 4 is a fine engine and they have been using it. So it's best to leave things post launch. And when people ask what engine you are using, they always responded with Unreal Engine. If they were using the latest, latest and greatest, people usually say so. They would have answered with Unreal Engine 4. I mean, five. Anyways, good news on the voice actor talent side. Simon Kerr as Dallas, Pete Gold at Hoxton, and Damien Portier as Dallas will be returning. Ulf Anderson obviously hasn't been part of this company for years, and he will not be making a return as a wolf. Uh, instead, we have Niklas Berglund to take on the rule of wolf. He has done some dubbing animated films into Swedish. I haven't really listened to any of those, but we shall see when the time comes what he sounds like as wolf. Payday 3 will come out on consoles, PS5 Everybody and Xbox Series. More. It's costing 40 US dollars, 40 euros and whatever other currencies there are. And the best part is it's going to have cross play so and cross progression. So that's really good. You can play with any of your friends no matter what the platform is so judging from that i think it's safe to say they are actually committed to releasing all the content on all the platforms at the same time because if that wasn't the case cross platform playing would be really hot because Everybody would have a different version and that wouldn't really, really work. The big controversy, so to say, are the microtransactions and the silver and gold editions. I don't really like the microtransactions, no matter what they are. Overkill has confirmed that they are going to be only cosmetic and they are going to be available post-launch. So kind of nifty way to get better reviews when there's no microtransactions in the game at launch, but eh, whatever. Uh, the DLC model seems to be exactly the same as Payday 2 has had for the past few years, so people are just a little bit confused about the word Season Pass. It's just a word where you can actually buy the bundle of DLCs before they release and nothing to it. So it's just a little bit cheaper to buy uh, six months or one year of DLC instead of separately buying it. But you can actually do that too whenever those are launching. So I think that's the best idea. If you save five bucks and you don't like one DLC, you just buy them separately whenever they launch. Uh, or you can buy the big versions and get your DLCs. The first year of content drops confirmed are right now on the season pass are four additional heists, four tailor packs and four weapon packs. So if we are still getting tailor packs, what are the microtransactions, the cosmetic microtransactions for? Are they just going to be weapon charms, masks or are they going to be uh, I think we are getting stickers too. Weapon skins maybe in the cosmetic store, whatever. I just, for the love of God, don't make a battle pass system. And please, no FOMO, fear of missing out system, because that would suck. I really hate those things. But now, we have been rambling about uh, the FAQ for a little bit. The sad thing is, uh, we don't have any confirmation about live action. Faces of the characters and Eric Edebari as Dallas doesn't seem to be moving forward at Overkill for Payday 3. We don't really know why, but maybe in the future we do. But now, thank you Eric for all you've done for Payday 2. Now I'd like to watch some of the bits from the gameplay that I thought were interesting and could like use some sort of closer look. So 
I actually have the 4K version that, my, that I'm watching and it's infinitely better than what was previously available. There's so much more detail on the Dallas, on Dallas's face here on the first shot. You can see little strands of hair, wrinkles and everything. It looks so much better than anything Payday 2 could have done. Obviously the bitrate of the bitrate of this video is not going to be as high, so you're not going to see all that detail. If you really want to see the highest of highest, go to Overkill's Payday YouTube channel, and there the Payday trailer is in 4K. And look at that 4K resolution version, because there's so much extra detail there. I think the environments here look much more detailed than in Payday 2. We have much more going on. Doesn't look as empty as the areas in Payday 2, because... The heist area itself was really fine, but after that it was really dull and empty. Uh, but here we see really, really much more detailed environments. And the bank lobby here, uh, the first shot of the heisters from behind, we can see a little bit of claims of Wolf's new face. And that doesn't look like the voice actor, so it's safe to say it's a different voice and a face for Wolf. And he has some hair this time. The other characters are spotting a new cool gear as well and i assume these are going to be the standard clothing items that you start with and later on with tailor packs and such you will get more and more and more i wonder if the vault here is for the stealth approach because we can see in the gameplay they are using termite to go through but if you are using or uh, taking the stealth plan maybe this is for a fingerprint scanner or a code to get inside the vault we can see money bundles, bags of cash, and I think what's a replacement for ECM and interacting in many ways is the telephone. We can see him interacting with his phone and it explodes a security camera that stuns a guard. Doesn't seem to stun a playable character or your teammate or the civilians, but the guard is stunned. When we take a closer look at the details when intimidating the guard, you can actually see uh, this little key, key holder cap, that's really, I have exactly similar one in real life, I'm a security guard in real life, but that one is exactly like the one I have, and it moves, there's like physics for everything, it looks really cool, uh, these little details you can't really see in a low quality video, but seems like everything moves. There's physics for everything. I'm getting hyped for little things like this. When I first saw this, having a hostage as your meat shield, I was wondering if this is only for the police or guards and so on. But you can actually see Wolf is doing the same to a hostage in the background. So no, it's not only for hostages. We can also see a hostage running cable tight. So maybe this is how you trade them. Uh, you can actually move them faster or you they can just escape. And who knows? Now the sentry gun is back. Seems like it has a screen. I wonder if that's going to be on during gameplay here. It's black. Maybe this screen could be used to let you know if it's using single fire, out of fire, armor piercing and so on. No info on that yet. We see a glimpse of a seemingly new enemy type has tons of explosive on his vests and actually explodes when you shoot that. Uh, so stuns the character as does this shield here. Whenever you bomb, the shield bumps you, it seems to be stunning you. Uh, we have the third person animation of chains sliding, burning his ass on that concrete and we also have a melee attack weapon skin confirmation there if the pistol wasn't enough for you but i think we're gonna get some skins uh from the get-go hopefully those are earnable and not everything is a microtransaction we shall see seems like whenever the cop is falling he doesn't die straight from that but when the guy shoots him he's dead and before he shoots him he's holding his rifle so good to know if he could survive that a fall damage maybe he could go on with his life and attack from another angle. Seems like, as I already said before, everything seems to have a, a, a physics. Here we can see ragdolls of the enemies flying, the ammo boxes are flying, the weapons are flying from the impact of this explosion. It, it looks really cool. Uh, cool muscle flashes on this shotgun here that seems to be shooting three times. 
Looks like a double barrel shotgun, could be a triple barrel shotgun, or just using a skill similar to Bullet Storm or Infinite Ammo, something like that. But kind of weird to choose that for a trailer for people who don't know about Payday's insane skills. Here we have Termite going through, repelling cops, shields can run now, cloakers, once again, wall running, you can actually shoot through the shields, uh, visible visor, that's really cool. Here we see, uh, I don't know if this is a flashbang or just some other stunt because it looks like a uh, white explosion, not quite like the taser one was uh, electric and blue, so maybe that's just something else. Here we can see the taser explosion, you can see a pouch on his hip and if you shoot that it stuns everyone around him. Not sure if it stuns the taser though, seems like he was standing there still and taking another sidestep whenever the animation stopped. Here we have some sliding, uh, what seems to be a mine, mine on the ground next to this taser, maybe a landmine or something, because that doesn't look like ammo box or anything like that. And here we can see the pouch on him a little bit better, and obviously a red laser, a sniper aiming at you, that's classic payday. Here we have animation for downed player and reviving. The downed player seems to be placing his hands on his chest, pressing on the bullet wound, which is uh, looks much better than whatever was going on in Payday 2, but we don't have first person animation uh, for reviving, seems like we just holster our gun and hover over the guy, no hovering hand, no animation for the EpiPen or anything like that, just hovering dead. But that's fine, and uh, equipment throwing is a thing now, no more placing it at your feet. Uh, seems to be taking inspiration from the Battlefield franchise, where you actually throw it away from you, uh, towards your teammates. Uh, in the, If you pause the frames, you can actually see there's at least five, five visible, maybe there's six, because you can't see the one, uh, packs, mini packs. Uh, you can heal, so you should be able to see how many charges are left, just like in Payday 2. Here we see vaulting, once again looks really cool. Uh, whenever you're shooting at this corpse pile, it seems to explode, so maybe it's possible to shoot at grenades on the police and those explode, because it doesn't seem like there's a grenade being thrown here, uh, anything like that. Not sure about this uh, sci-fi site, looks really cool, not sure how useful this is going to be. Maybe for finding hidden hidden cloakers or something like that, but not much to it. Looks really cool. Tasers, tasing you seem to have this visible wire coming at you, so you actually know who is tasing you. Not sure if you can actually shoot the taser anymore, where you can see a player on the right. Maybe that's going to take out our taser here and re release our from our misery. So not sure if you can actually do that anymore, because it seems like you are shooting your weapon into air, not towards the taser, but we shall see. On this shot on the ground, we can actually see a dead body, their weapons, a pistol and a shotgun. The ammo bag is a big green one, and what seems to be a first aid kit, so those are all so close together. That doesn't seem like a player placed kit, so I think it's possible that the players can actually get heals from the enemies they kill, so it's possible that some of the enemies actually drop first aid kits or something like that. So maybe it's a little bit, little bit of a boost when you run over that, it gives you back some health. I don't think you need to interact with that, would be kind of, kind of weird. But we shall see how the, this turns out. Once again, we have a better look at the new enemy type there. A big chest trick full of explosives, and when you shoot that, it, it explodes. We have a better look at the cloaker running towards us, green glowing eyes and a fishnet over his head. So maybe he is good at hiding in bushes, uh, in other maps where there's more environmental bush going around. Not really sure. Here we have first version vaulting, some green uh, poison gas there as well. So I think it's safe to say we are gonna get a Grenadier special type enemy that has this poison gas as his trouble. 
and possibly something else as well. We, here we see the playable character interacting with the drone, and we can see a helicopter coming straight after that, so I assume that's just going to be used for multiple of things, like in the beginning it was used for exploding the camera, possibly replacing ECM jammers, and here it's used to basically summon the chopper, so it's possible it's used for many many things. Uh, here we have Hoxton using the piglet grenade launcher, and uh, finally a new bald bulldozer rocking and a fully automatic shotgun, and I really love the animation here, and looking really really dangerous with that new charge attack. Anyways, I think that covers about everything that I haven't cover, cover, covered before. The original video about, I made about this was much more thorough. I was actually looking through the textures and everything, but that was al almost one hour long, so this should be a little bit more tolerable. Anyways, if I missed anything, I might make more videos about this, but let me know. Are you hyped for Payday 2? No. Payday 3? Payday 3? It's so weird to say it. I've been saying Payday 2 for so long. Anyways, are you hyped for Payday 3? Or are you too worried about the microtransactions and DLC systems? Which are basically the same as they were in Payday 2. Anyways, I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'll see you later. Master Indigo, signing out.